Okay, that looks more like a gate. That looks... Is that... No, that's... That's an Imperial Guard. Okay. That is an Imperial... Pale Pass Discovered. This is... Right, look, 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 okay, this, I think this is how I'm supposed to get there. We're not going without Kajo. Let's go find him. And we're back. And as you can see, I have found Garjo. Apparently, he just did not want to enter the Serpent's Trail, a den of smugglers and other ne'er-do-wells, and who can blame him? I have a feeling that was probably the trail I was looking for when I was captured by Imperial You're Guards oh so long ago. However, as the Jarl of Whiterun and the Dragonborn it really is more fitting that we enter Cyrodiil through the gate. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Now I did notice the gates were closed and there was a... Well, set of guards. We should probably talk to them. Hello? Legate Centos? Yes, yes. You're cleared to enter Cyrodiil. Feel free to head through. Thank you very much. What's with all the... Border control. You think I make the decisions? I may be a legionnaire, but I'm just a grunt compared to the powers that be in the capital. Not that it takes a synod mage to work it out. Skyrim's in the midst of strife, the Empire's still reeling from the war. It doesn't take True. a genius to realize the Empire wouldn't want any of that chaos spilling over into its heartland. Yeah. Is that Kajo mining? What? Kajo? See, I'm sorry about that. Mm -hmm. However, I was going to say that whilst I, I, I can see you don't want the chaos that's going on in Skyrim to spill over in, into Cyrodiil, the biggest form of chaos comes in sort of dragon yes, shape. Yes. You're clear and they could probably you. fly Feel over this fairly easily. However, are we ready to go? Stop mining. We're going. Leave the pickaxe behind. Oh. He's still mining, isn't he? If anyone sneaks up on us, okay. I'll smell them coming. We've got oh, horses! We will see. We've actually got oh good grief. We've actually got horses, Kajo! I, I wasn't sure we'd be able to bring them. Tasira did why have you not? No, you're right. You know what? New roads. Let's walk them. You're absolutely right. This is Cyrodiil. Dude! Cyrodiil. I know it's not the first time we've left Skyrim. Yes, we've been to elsewhere. And yes, I do realise it was warmer than this. But dude! Okay, we've got... I think we've got something going on down there. Hello! Imperial soldier. Okay, so this is just... Port soldier. Any luck? None, sir. We persuaded him, we threatened him, we even beat him. Still wouldn't talk. God damn it. Unsurprising. Sadly. If anyone sneaks up on us, I just let them come in. Bush, Still. I might not. You did all you could. And that's admirable in itself. Now go. Get back to your regular shift. Okay, Legate Priscilius Varro. Damn it all. I'm at a loss. Divines. How can I get that damn guy to shut up and comply? Oh, wait. Weren't you trying to make somebody talk? Not shut up? Okay, what, what was that conversation about? What was that conversation about? It was about possibly the most stubborn prisoner we've ever captured and incarcerated here. We caught him crossing the border a few days ago. Since then, he's been raving incoherently. Well, 
he's coherent, but near delusion. Are you We've been sure? To interrogate him, but every time I've sent one of my soldiers to do it, he's refused. And you know the worst damned part? I fear for him. He's clearly somewhere between naive and insane, and the Penitus Oculatus aren't the most merciful sort. They'll come for him soon, make no doubt about it. And when they do, he'll face a fate much worse than any of my troops could dispatch. It's not the best situation. My hands are tied. Thing is, it was he was he ranting and raving about like dragons and vampires? Because if so, he he's not delusional, mate. That's kind of what's going on over there. I'd be happy to assist in the interrogation. What will happen if I can't get the information out of him? I don't suppose. Okay, look. I'm not exactly mm, pro-Empire, but at the same time, I am curious as to what the hell this guy was ranting about. I could go chat with him. I'm not beating him up, but I could chat with him. It's not common practice, but considering what the alternative would be, and how uncooperative this particular prisoner is, I can't really say no. He's in the prison wing of the fort. One moment. Take this. A letter proving that I've given you authorization to go in there. Best of luck, and thanks for helping us with this. Yeah, I'm not totally sure I'm... Yeah, uh, give me a second. I, ju I really do want to... I'm curious, can I still play with the weather here? Here's the thing, for those that don't know... I have a somewhat turbulent opinion of the Empire. I'm actually a big fan of the Empire, Lord. the old Empire. I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm not, basically the Empire set up by Tiber Septim, but I'm not a fan of what it's become, specifically the fact that it has capitulated to the Thalmor. However, it does look like I can control the weather. That is nice. However, having said that, I do realize it's not as simple as I once thought. And that making peace with the Thalmor, and let's face it, basically surrendering, was something that perhaps had to happen because had it not, people would have died. I'm still not sure totally where I stand on all of these issues, but I, I have begun You're to accept that it's one, not as simplistic as I once thought. That doesn't necessarily mean I want to help them, though. Right, let's have a... Uh, where was it? Journal! Right. Follow the book story in the Windpeak Inn. Investigate Anise's cabin. Find the force... Okay, I, I have got a lot of things that I've not done yet. I also have miscellaneous. That's actually what I wanted to, to see. Let's take all of these quests off. Visit Bruma. That's definitely on our to-do list. I have got a lot of tasks. Not just under miscellaneous, but outside of it as well. I have got tons. Hide and seek. Discreetly kill the traveling bard. Gunmar has sent me to Dawnstar. I am to find and kill the vampire masquerading as a traveling bard. I am to do so discreetly, as the Lord is unaware of the threat and will assume I have murdered a citizen. Is this vampire a bad one, though? Who's Gunmar? Was that one of the Dawn Guard? So I, I've just I've forgotten half of this. Right. Okay. Let's check. The map, <laughs> which is suspiciously white, as I suspected it would be. There's Bruma. Bruma, yes, it's it's going to be pretty cold, much to Carjo's disgust. We knew it was going to be, but uh, it's going to be slightly upsetting that we could just about see some green down there. I wonder if we get to visit it. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be nice. Serpent, that's where I came out when I went through the Serpent's Trail, so it actually took me out further down. Interrogate the Stormcloak prisoner in Fort Pale Pass. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah. Apparently it's this way. Hello. Oh. Hold. This is the prison wing of Fort Pale Pass. I know. If you want to get in, I'm the one to grant you access. I have this letter. But I can only grant that access with the authorization of our commander, Legate Priscilius Varro. Which, incidentally, he gave me this document to prove I have permission. Let me take a look at that. Hmm, seems authentic. Yeah, that's the Legate's hand, all right. Okay, head on in. I'll unlock the door. Do whatever you have to do. So she's oh, keeping- I should warn you. Once you head in there, we're putting the fort on high alert. Locking the doors. Just Why? This prisoner's been known to get a little irate during questioning. Don't want him making a break for the exit door. All right, doors open. Good luck in there. Gods know you'll need it. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. C c c oh, whoa. Whoa. Uh, I'm supposed to be chatting to a prisoner to find out if he's delusional or not. And when I go in there, you're going to put the place on high alert. And lock me in there with the prisoner because it... What the hell have I agreed to? This seems a little suspicious to me. But I guess I'm hmm. not going to find out. Be, be more careful. If I was more careful, I wouldn't be heading in here, would I? Okay. I begin to warm up. That is actually nice. I don't... Be, do not steal. Let's... Let's warm up before we do... Where's Kajo? Kajo! I wish you wouldn't do that, mate. I really do. We're in a prison. Okay, I'm warm. Just running ahead like that. Okay. So there are no other guards down here. Just me and the prisoner. No, there's another guard. There's another guard. We got a guard here. Guard there. Fort Pale Pass, that takes me out. Okay, that's the jailer. Where's the... Oh, probably an... Oh, I see. Hello, jailer. How fantastic. You are taking us you somewhere warm, I trust. need serious help. Which prisoner am I supposed to be talking to? Hello? Probably not you. It's going to be you, isn't it? It's not going to be you, is it? Talk to the prisoner. Mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't think so. I mean, for drama's sake, I think we know it's going to be you, don't we? What was he called? Bjarni Shatterstone. What? Who are you? You are not one of these damned Imperial soldiers. Are you here to rescue me? Uh, I'm a Stormcloak too. That, no, I'm not. I'm with the Imperials. Are you going to answer my questions? I have some questions for you. I, first of all, I have some questions for you. I really do. Questions? Ha! Do your worst, dog. I will never break. Never! Right, here's the... I'm... Okay, it's in your best interest to comply the... Penitus Oculatus. Okay. You'll tell me everything. You have no choice. Tell me everything now or face the consequences. I'll make you talk later. We could try to persuade him. Illusion. Am I, am I any good at illusion? I don't think so. Not, not, um, believe it or not, fairly good with persuade. The Penitus Oculatus? After me? Oh, my Talos. What have I done? What have I got myself into? Fine, fine. I'll comply. I mean, no I won't. Talos, I... Oh, by the divines. Alright, tell me, why did you cross the border? Yeah, why did you leave Skyrim? The 
because Skyrim is suffering under the Empire's yoke. We're not even allowed to worship our own damned gods. You wouldn't understand. You're an Imperial dog. A toady for the Dharma. No. But we deserve freedom. Yes. And to truly achieve freedom, we need to end the Empire. Strike at its heart. Mm. Zero deal. The Imperial City. And the rest will crumble. I'm not convinced this is true. Here's... Oh, Talos, here comes the damn jailer. Oh. Just what I needed. Someone else to rub salt in the wound. So they're planning? I see your interrogation's going well. Better than any of the other sobs that I've tried at any rate. Bloody jailer. Come to gawk at the poor helpless storm cloak. You'll pay, damn Imperial! You'll all pay! They don't think that ever the roads of Skyrim. You say that every day. Still haven't found a way to break through those bars, though, have you? The information you've gotten out of him so far? Good work. You've gotten the basics out of him, but the Legate needs to know everything we can possibly extract. So, well, best not let the prisoner hear our little chat. Follow me. Okay, well, here's, here's the thing, right? I agree with him that the Empire is rotten, but I don't agree with him that attacking the Empire is the best way to go. Because it... Here's the thing. I used to be a big fan of the Stormcloaks until I found out that Ulfric was actually doing exactly what the Thalmor want him to do. He is what they consider an asset. The Stormcloak Rebellion is playing right into the Thalmor hands. So that's the problem. Whilst I sympathise with his point of view, I also know it's more complicated than it first seems. All right. Hello. Hello. Thought we needed to get away from prying ears. Last thing we need is to let the prisoner in on our techniques. Now we know the guy's plot. Heard it straight from the horse's mouth, but we need to know more. This time, you need to take on a few different lines of attack. Find out who sent him, if he came with anyone else, and where they may be. And try not to lose track of time. The Pentatus Oculatus will be here soon, and the Legate wants us to get the information out of him, not them. Good luck. All right. See you. Find out who sent the prisoner, find out if the prisoner had any accomplices, and how many. Okay, look, dude, seriously. You know what? While you were back there exchanging poisonous words with your jailer friend, I've decided I'm not talking. Mm -hmm. No more! Right. Yeah, okay. Who ord right, whose orders were you to follow? It's, your in it's in your interest to... Come on, dude, just... Tell us. Come on, whose orders were you following? Fine, fine. I crossed the border through Serpent's Trail, an old smuggling route. Yeah, I... I... We're not part of the main Stormcloak army. At least, not anymore. We call ourselves the Stormcloak Breakaways. That is a terrible name. Okay, completed. Don't resist. What am I, a Jedi? Tell me the whereabouts of your accomplices, too. I, I I want more, worm. Okay, no, let's end this. The whereabouts of your accomplices, tell me now. No, no, God, just do tell me. Where are your friends? Fine, fine. I'll tell you everything, silver-tongued scamp. You are terrible at keeping your mouth shut. There Not that I mind. others. Not sure how many. It was never in command. Just their forward scout. One of them, at any rate. But I know of at least six others. Three of them crossed the border, came down here, not reported back in weeks. The others, three of them, waiting on the Skyrim side of the border, lying in wait, waiting for my report. Given that I've been stuck in here for days, Bet they're running out of patience right quick. Okay. Let I want to free. I'm not. Here's the thing. Not getting involved to that degree. <sighs> not. Kashit cards your back. Okay. Do I tell the jailer or do I tell the legate? Okay, dude. But he has connections. Right. Okay. 
He has six accomplices, maybe more. The prisoner is part of an organization called the Stormcloak Breakaways. Stormcloak Breakaways, eh? Hmm. So even Ulfric Stormcloaks aren't extreme enough for some of his flunkies. Pfft. Stir crazy Nords. Okay, and the six of them. Six accomplices. Hmm. Not quite an army, but a formidable force given a clever and able commander. Okay, and that is all I got. I see. Well, thank you, I... Quick, follow me. Storm close? Dude? Shut up and keep it down. I'm working on it. You know we're... Turns out, Oi! buying stacks of black market invisibility potions leaves little coin for lockpicks. You don't have lockpicks. I got some spare ones. Not done this in a while. Could you pay me some attention? Okay, is there more of them? That takes care of that. Okay, I wasn't gonna get involved. Send us mercy. Stormcloaks have breached. I was the not. I'll stand watch here and keep an. Yeah, uh, you're gonna keep. And that damned prisoner. Go find the legate. Warn him. Let him know what's going on. <sighs> I really didn't want to get involved to this degree. I really didn't. Hello. I would rather have just got the information about the attack and let them deal with it. As I've said, somewhat mixed feelings about this. Okay. Is it going to be all six of them? Well, there'll be five. It requires... When it... I'm supposed to be telling the legate. Uh, hello, I need a key. I, I can't actually get out. Oh. Oh, there's a different entrance. Okay, did he did he mention that? He probably did. I probably wasn't paying any attention. You are taking us somewhere warm. Kajo, please. Sh Shush with that. We've got a couple of options here. I'm hearing. You won't What's going on? Die. Okay, stone folks. They're not really paying me any attention. Just, uh, Looks like that was the last. One. That was the last one. Are you sure? Well, they look pretty calm. All right. Well, if that's the last one, find in one legate Priscilius Vado. Oh, back down there, back down there, back down. Okay. So there were just two of them. Okay, well, if there were just two here and one downstairs, that means there are three left. Stupidly enough, wearing Stormcloak uniforms. Just to let everyone know. Nope, we got more. Nice helmet. Looks familiar. A glorious battle. Soldier, report. A glorious battle. Where's the prisoner? He's still in his cell. He's still in his cell. That's a relief. I guess these blasted stormcloaks are trying to rescue that damned prisoner. Divines forsake them, and Dagon take them. Stay on alert, everyone. Might be more of these storm cloaks yet. Observe what is happening. Observe what is ha- Okay. Primitive Nord Heavy Helmet. Can we not call that primitive? That's an awesome helmet, that is. I'm supposed to observe it? Okay. Runners. The Penitus Oculatus. Yes, yes. We are the Penitus Oculatus. A thrill for soldiers posted in a frigid backwater such as this, I'm sure. The prisoner. Now, Varro. I... This one. Here. I hired them to interrogate him after our own efforts proved fruitless. I suggest you two have a conversation first. Okay. The Legate's disobeying command. You can't simply let him... Enough. Come then. Let us speak. And see whether or not your findings are as interesting as the Legate seems to Why believe. Why didn't you just listen? So, what did you discover? I would have told him and then he could have told you. How many accomplices does he have? Where are they active? What faction does he belong to? Uh, I'm not telling you anything. Um, 
The Stormcloak Breakaways, they're active on both sides of the border. I don't like his attitude at all. I don't want there to be a war between Skyrim and Cyrodiil. I definitely don't want, you know, Cyrodiil marching more troops into, into Skyrim right now. Thank you very much. Stormcloak Breakaways. Interesting. But more importantly, accomplices. While this ill-fated little prison break revealed that much, the prisoner's confession suggests more widespread activity than previously assumed. Ah, it seems the prisoner's here now. I must say, Leggett, your operation is quite efficient. Okay. Uh. Are you really going to take him away? His plot was stupid. There's no way he could have done it. He might be insane for all we know. The security of the Empire comes before all else, Leggett. You will come to understand this in time. You there! You may be a lapdog of the Imperials, but it's not too late! Put down these damned Imperials! Free me! Don't let them cut me away! I'm... Enough of these foolish overtures. This way. Observe the prisoner's departs or slay the agents. Whoa! Speak with Legate Priscilius Varro. We're not sucked. Yeah. Not exactly the outcome I was hoping for. But the Empire is what it is. The best damned hope for Tamriel, warts and all. Yeah. Still, you did what I asked of you and accomplished it well. Here's your payment. I'll try not to think of the poor guy's fate. Not even a Stormcloak deserves to suffer the Penitus Oculatus' interrogation techniques. If I'd have killed them, would I have had to have killed every single one of the uh, Imperials here? Something I definitely did not want to do. I probably would have. I would have had to have slain every Imperial. What's it like being on duty here? It's rough and tumble, to say the least. This place is damned freezing. I don't tend to cross the border. This is as close as I get to the cold climes of the Nord homeland. I guess the Nords serving with us are used to this. They laugh it off while they rub their beards and puff their chests. But I can't stand it. If you mean the border itself, though, few people tend to come through. The Empire does know how to lock down a border when it tries, so we're here mostly as a last resort. Yeah. Bye. Your job sucks, mate. It really does. That was not a great start to our trip, was it? I don't really want to get involved in the whole Stormcloak versus Empire thing. I, I mean, I hate to trivialize that issue, but I do have bigger things to worry about normally. I don't want to be seen to be favoring one side, although at the moment, in spite of my instincts, I can't help but feel the Stormcloaks are almost their own worst enemy. It is, it, it's awful to kind of see someone's point and actually feel for them and yet feel they're being extraordinarily stupid. I couldn't find a bed. I've done warm my hands. I couldn't find a bed in the, um, in the castle. And I, I wanted to rest, so I built a little camp fire and a tent and had a night's sleep here. I Can I put out destroy skills? 22 minutes skills. What skills do, whoa, 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 whoa. That's new. That is like... Okay. Select firecraft. Light campfires, seven seconds faster in all weather conditions using strike stone, rank four. Perks to increase, zero. Next perk increase, 60. Oh, so I'm getting better at camping. 
You know, all things consider considered, I should be an expert at camping already, but... If anyone sneaks... Fine. So this is... Cabanas. Let's destroy I this. I smell them coming. This is... Oh, I don't know. We will part see. and parcel of... Uh, the new Frostfall. Okay, now we're going to keep walking. We're going to keep walking. Uh, I missed that message. There was a message. I probably should pay attention to those messages. Right! Having got off to a bad start and probably prevented a storm cloak attack in to Cyrodiil. Okay, it's an ogre. It's ogre spread. stone wrecker. There's an ogre here that has been knocked into an arid land of mm. deserts and rocky canyons where the sun shines warmly. Yeah, we've been. I know. You don't have to keep telling me. All right. The tower. We've been to elsewhere. Now we're going to Cyrodiil. Rats, rats, rats. Okay. There must be big rats. Weren't, weren't the rats bigger in Skyrim? Or is that just my imagination? Orcish broadsword. No, thank you. Is that my imagination? Am I still... No. What was I saying? Right. Okay, let's forget that. Try to move past it. And see what else Cyrodiil has to offer. Good weather today, though. That's a start. Snowstone rest discovered. I think I saw an ogre. Okay. Is it is it an inn? Sounds in-ish. It's an inn! <laughs> With multiple layers, levels. Okay. Arnoth the Bright-Eyed. My name's Arnoth. Arnoth the Bright-Eyed. Bard by trade. In the mood to be regaled with song? Um, maybe. Where did you learn to play? Me? <laughs> I learned back down in Valenwood. I wasn't taught, per se, but ever since I first got my hands on a lute, I knew it was my calling. The feeling as your finger twangs on the lute strings. The thrill of rapturous applause. Ah, that's the life for me. Of course, not many Bosmer get a lute. You gotta import them. Green packed and all that. You can't go cutting down trees in the Valenwood. Right. Okay, do you hear much rapturous applause here? From Airless? Yeah. Oh, you mean actual rapturous applause though, right? Well, the answer is sadly... Uh, no. <clears throat> Not anymore. This place used to be packed with travelers crossing the border in both directions. Since the Skyrim Civil War and the Empire tightening border restrictions, let's just say Snowstone doesn't get much business anymore. Yeah, I suppose. Heard any rumors? What are your thoughts on current events? Oh, like politics? Well, it's no secret that the Empire and Aldemiri Dominion are plotting against each other, even if neither of them care to admit it. Yeah. People are doomsaying. Saying that Cyrodiil is about to descend into another great war. I don't know what to make of it. And I don't much like contemplating my own death, so I try not to think about it too much. That makes sort of sense. Heard any rumors? Rumors? In Snowstone Rest? Uh, as much as I love the atmosphere here, the inn is hardly all that busy nowadays. Closest thing to a rumor around here is the sound of the hearth. Burning away. Like it always does. Really? Surely you've heard at least one, just one little rumor? One weather thin? No? <sighs> well, I did hear a rumor that there's a Bosmer bard in a tavern near the Skyrim border who's currently looking for work. I heard tell that he's currently employed, but in the arse end of nowhere. So, you know, he's always available. If anyone... 
Divines, please, if anyone's interested. Okay. That's talking about you again. I was thinking more like other things. You should probably thank your lucky stars. Honestly, life could be worse than sitting in a bar all day, warm and comfortable and slightly bored. Do, do you know what, what being slightly bored means? It means you are blessed. Slightly bored is a reward, not a punishment. It's the universe's way of saying, my God, you don't half have a good life. It, it really is. Come on, give me a serious rumor, Arnold. Well, actually, I have heard talk of a bizarre little creature running around stealing chickens and pies. Oh, and chicken pies down in the Blackwood. Heard folk down there have taken to calling it the Munchkin. You're pulling my leg, aren't you? There's a Munchkin stealing chicken pies. No. Okay, no, right, you are, okay, good, right. But, Until next time. Yeah, he was pulling my leg. He was pulling my leg. Right, yes, okay. Uh, Arles Rissula. You are taking us somewhere warm, I guess. Ah, your presence warms my lonely bones. Okay, I don't need a room, but had I known about it, I probably would have actually bought the room rather than spending as much time as I did setting up a campfire. Uh, it took a little longer than, uh, than you'd imagine. Because I'm learning it again. It's like I've forgotten how to survive. I'd like food and drink. Why set up here? Why run an inn in the rear end of the Gerald Mountains? I suppose that's a valid question as any. I built this place board by board, you know. Well, I should have given old Barney some credit. He was the moral support I needed when the going was tough. Back in the day, this place used to be an absolute hive of activity. Incredibly busy and incredibly lucrative. Lots of patrons and even more coin. You know, travelers going between Cyrodiil and Skyrim and all that. Yeah, that makes Sadly, sense. Sadly, the Empire put a stop to that. Instituting tight border control with the outbreak of the Civil War. But Snowstone Rest is, and always has been, my prize. And, in all honesty, my true home. Even if it doesn't get much business these days. Okay, who was old Barnius? My old dog. I love dogs. Most faithful companions a man can have. He died a few years ago. The cold got to him. He never liked the cold. Was used to the temperate climes down south. He was my truest friend. And now he's gone. The customers at least used to distract me, but now I don't even have them. Speaking of which, I've been meaning to leave an offering at his grave. Just behind the inn. Something to pay my respects. Remember a lifelong loss, you know. Problem is, I'm not really up to going around and gathering the stuff together. The wilderness is dangerous, and I don't want to die to a timber wolf or an ogre, or who knows what else. But let me guess, you don't mind me dying that way, right? Fine. I'll help. Thank you, traveler. You are truly a generous soul. I'm a I'll sucker is what I am. A little coin I can spare. Just to say thanks. If you could gather some mother word for me, I'd be able to lay an offering for old Barnius. Just a few should do. Mother wart. Return the mother word to me, and I'll be able to leave an offering and feel a little more at peace for a few more years. Yeah, right. Yeah, sure, I, I can do that, I suppose. Hmm. Do we just go do that now? Make him happy? Get that out of the way? There was a few other people worth talking to. Let's have a look at the map. Oh, actually, before we do that, I probably need to... Uh, it'll be under miscellaneous, won't it? Gather motherwort for Arles Rissola. And I'm supposed to gather it. Okay. Do you think it's close by here? I'm not 
getting any hints, am I? Okay, motherwort. What are we looking for? There's the grave. That's red wart. I, I wouldn't want to be stealing that anyway, because that's obviously from his last offering. Motherwort. Motherwort. I... No, those are just bushes. That looks like snowberries. Did I? I, I, I have a feeling... Now, we've not met ogres before. I can't say whether or not they're friendly. Although all the books I've read have suggested generally the answer to that question is not so much. Okay, hello, hello. Milk thistle. Also not what I needed. I'm probably looking in the wrong place. Let's face it, looking in the area around the inn. Oh my god, the music. Just had a tiny nostalgia pang. Looking in the area around the inn is probably not going to be... Hello, Mr. Ogre. We would like to walk down the road. We're not looking for a fight. I get the feeling you might be. Can we possibly just... We, we, we can go around. If it's a big problem. We're looking... Clouded funnel. We're looking for Mother Wart. I don't suppose... You know of any, do you? I can't help but feel I should probably do my civic duty and rid the road of an ogre. Serpent Oh! Clouded front. This is where I came out! Uh, okay, I have a feeling. Catch up! Feel free to. We. Ogre Stone Wrecker, we did our best, I'm afraid. I've captured the soul. You know, now that I've actually been to the soul cairn, that really does sort of that does come across as not I think it's only human souls that get trapped there to suffer isn't it I, I think pretty sure cut us hello okay if he was your friend that's not he attacked us he attacked us we didn't want to kill him we did not want to kill him I promise. Therena's cutter. What is Therena's cutter? Cutter's spell singer. Uh, slinger. Spell slinger. Little different to a spell singer, I guess. Honestly, I'm not You're fine. You're taking us somewhere warm, I guess. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Mother Wart. Let's milk this up. Maybe I should go back and say, by the way, what in the hell does Mother Wart look like? Oh. Those guys we killed were probably bandits who just killed these guys, I guess. If anyone sneaks up on us, yeah. I'll smell them coming. Or I might not. All right, you know what? I don't think we're going to find Mother Wart anytime soon. I thought we could just run out and find some. But it would seem I'm going to have to do a little bit more traveling. And before I leave here, the dragons are the most fearsome. I did want Dragon to chat with the other people the that were in the inn. Probably I could do a better job of looking for them. It's just when I don't know what I'm actually looking for. I mean, it's not like they're actually on the map. 
No, let's go to Bruma. They're not. If I knew precisely what I was looking for. Activate old gravestone. Was that you drinking? Clouded funnel. We can do it, just give us a chance. Yes, we will. We Once we figure out what it looks like, we will be sure to... I, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it, dude. Hello. I just wanted to talk to everyone else before we left, just in case. Avar. Damn it all. Run out of Cyrodiil, all for daring to offend Dorina's band of criminals and cut purses. I've met one of them, at least. Probably two. I'm being forced to flee my home. That's what's wrong. All because of those damned cutters. I got on their bad side. Angered the wrong people. Fought a little bit too tirelessly when they attacked the wagon I was escorting. Long story short, I need out of Cyrodiil. They're chasing me as we speak. I just stopped in here to get a bit of Nord fire in my belly for the trip. Actually, I hate to ask this of you, but could you deliver this note to my brother, Holgard? He runs Northern Arms, the smithy in Bruma. Yeah, yeah, I could, sure I'll, sure I could do that, yeah. By the way, I cut, I killed two cutters just down the road. They may have been coming for you. Thank you so much, Why they attacked me, I don't know. I'd be happy to give you directions to Bruma if you need them. Go south? Once you get to the city, just find the smithy, Northern Arms. It's on the north side of town. All right. Best of luck, friend. And thank you. Anytime. D delivering a letter, that's not a problem. Okay. Out of curiosity. What is it? I just... Good afternoon. Think. Food and drink. Hungry or thirsty? I'm actually wondering whether you... Because it would be kind of funny if you actually had some of this mother wart on you. You don't. It was, it was a thought. It was just a thought. Until next time. Okay. You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. Uncommon taste. We've read that. Oh, I've got some books to read. Yes, I do. Next time we find a warm inn. Oblivion crisis. Anybody else here? N no. Right. So. Then. We just have to keep our eyes open for this motherwort. As well as now, there's probably another miscellaneous. Give Avar's letter to Hulgard. We've got a lot of little things to do. Either on our way to Bruma or once we get there. But for now, I just kind of want to enjoy the scenery a little. He says... Already getting a little distracted. It's a path. Kajo has consumed a potato. Kajo is a bit of a greedy pig. Ah, oh, Kajo. This just feels so nostalgic. Me and you wandering off. Down or up a path in this case. To places unknown. Even though we know it's ridiculously stupid to do so. And we've no actual logical reason. There's a ruin, mate. There's a ruin. Is he going to attack? Or he is going to No, no, he's not. Okay. There is. What is this? Moonstone! Moonstone in these mounts here. Dude! North Fringe, we discovered something. What did we discover? A cave! We discovered a cave! A cave we have no reason to explore. But look! We're looking at a... Is that a castle? A wizard spire? And another tower. 
Okay, we, we've got to get a broom, huh? From home, and this is a we've got to explore a cave. Visit that tower and that tower. And also figure out what the hell Mother Wart is. <laughs>